as a cinematographer, do you feel that your, your main job, your main expertise is, is framing the shot and lighting the scene and working out how to move the camera? Which one of these do you, do you tend to focus on, or all of them at once? Now, my, my job is basically to under, understudy the director. Um, I, as soon as I get near a new director, somebody I haven't worked with before, I very quickly find out what, he's, what part of the filmmaking business he's interested in and what parts he's not interested in. Um, very sort of simplistic way of explaining it is a lot of directors come from writing. Uh, they've written a couple of great films and therefore demand the right to direct. Mm -hmm. And of course, some of them are totally visually illiterate. So you have to very, very gently step in and take over the whole vision side of the thing, structure, structure the whole vision. Mm. Um, you get other directors. Um, Gavin Hood, I've just worked with, is, is incredibly visually involved. And we have just those wonderful discussions where we, we just take the things step by step further and further and better and better uh, bouncing off each other. Um, Gavin is also good with the actors and I've had worked with very visual directors where I've had to turn around to the director and say, buddy, uh, take another, have another take. That wasn't, I don't think you'll like that when you see it. In They're case. focusing on the visuals, not so much yeah, the performance. Yeah, no, the, yeah, then I, I just switch off the visual and, and start to become, you know, a, observing the acting, the so do you, performance. It sounds like you kind of see where their real yeah, strengths yeah, are yeah, and you yeah. try to fill in all those yeah, blank yeah. areas. I mean, I'm, I've, I've still got to design the shots and all the rest, but all that comes out of my understanding of what the director wants. And, you know, um, of course, as I point, point out, some of them have a massive input into that area and some of them don't. So it, it, it's a really, yeah, it's, it's a sort of uh, un understudy to... Uh, and my, my, my gaffer said, I was explaining this on an interview that my gaffer was listing. He said, that's exactly what I do with you. He said, I'm looking at <laughs> what, what you, you do well in the, in the lighting world mm -hmm. and what, what, what you tend to not and I worry about. I, 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 I get in there. You know? right. And it's true. I know that he and I have worked together for 25 years. And... Um, you know, so it's, it's that sort of feeling, feeling of, um, of, of a total, total team is, is when it really works. I've just come off, same thing with Jocelyn, uh, Morehouse, Jocelyn Morehouse. On, the, on, on the dressmaker, I've just finished, yeah. You know, it's that, that feeling of, you know, you, you both have that same movie in your head and it's, it's just trying to offer stuff to her in that instance that really expands that concept. And this is why... And that's enjoyable. This is why people like Bruce, for example, Bruce Bursford, uh, will work with you a lot. And, they, they, and you do this yourself. You tend to work with the same people all the time. Once yep. you trust them and you know they can yep. do the job well and you get on well, you always... And in Predator, I know a great Australian crew, I'll bring them over, they'll do the film. Yep. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So how, um, what's it like when you do step in and you're working with a new crew, a new director, a new gaffer, whoever it might be, for the first time. How do you sort of negotiate that part of things? Ah, you just go full steam ahead because that's all you can do. And uh, obviously, as, as I said, the, the international crews are, are so uh, international <laughs> 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 that you, 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 I've never had a, I've never had a bad. I mean, you've, sometimes you've got to spend a little bit more time explaining to the new gaffer what, you, what your really lining style's all about mm. and all that sort of thing. But if they've got to the level where they've been put forward to work on, on this production, thing, yeah. they're no dummies. I mean, they've, 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 they've survived. Well, I mean, speaking of directors, you talked about those that have <coughs> a visual eye. On Parenthood, you're working with Ron Howard, yep. an actor. Yep. So was his focus, for example, and he's an excellent director, um, in all respects, I think, but he comes from the acting world. So is he focusing mainly on performance and letting you do the visuals, for example? 
On, yeah, obviously from where they come from doesn't mean who they are mm. uh, uh, or, or what they, they're good at. Um, yeah, Ron, Ron was what I'd call a, um, a good mix between the two, if, if, if you can find so what the two, two extremes of visual and, 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 uh, and uh, literature. Yeah, um, he, he was, uh, it was quite strange working with him because he, he, he was the, the only director I've ever worked with that I never really, never I, think it, I think it came from the fact that he'd, he'd been a child star mm. And he just didn't want anyone in his space. I mean, he, he wanted you to come into the point where you could help and structure with the whole film, but you, you, there was a wall that you, you, you knew was there and you didn't bother, when you, you knew you shouldn't go any further. I and suppose because people <coughs> with that childhood experience, grown up in that Hollywood yeah, system, yeah, yeah. it's a different kind of Yeah, it's a, there must be a massive mechanism for self-preservation. Mm. That we don't need. <laughs> <laughs>